Time now for ABC4 News Sports with Dana Green. The Salt Lake Stallion season is over before it got a chance to finish. With just two weeks left in the regular season, the Alliance of American Football suspended operations effective immediately. Trevor Riley is understandably upset. The Stallions linebacker and former Ute was promised a three-year commitment by the AAF and didn't think the league would fold after just eight weeks. Yeah, we wanted to finish the season. Uh, we were somewhat in playoff contention still, and I thought it was going to make at least two years. And I thought the NFL was going to jump on board and buy the league, but... It's, uh, it's tough to see it go, I guess. That was the ultimate problem. League owner Tom Dundon invested some $250 million hoping for a partnership with the NFL. When that didn't materialize and Dundon lost a reported $70 million, he decided to suspend operations. It's business, man. Yeah. And if you're, if you're sour about it, it's business. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We all took a risk. I, they still paid us. They paid us for the work we did. We never missed checks. They were always on time. We have benefits. We even had a 401k. It's just somebody got sick of writing the checks, man. While TV ratings were pretty good for the AAF, not enough money was coming in. There's still some hope the league can restructure and start again. Yeah, there's still hope. I mean, you know, when you hear suspended things, you usually hear about suspended political campaigns, and those never restart. It's still early, but... Uh, it doesn't look good. While Riley plans on coaching at Utah this fall, many other players' football careers just ended. Guys are still playing for jobs, maybe with the NFL or even to stay in this league for two or three years, so sad to see it go. I feel bad for the people administratively. Yeah. They gave up other jobs to come here based on a three-year commitment. You know, they're kind of left out in the dark.